What is up guys, KD360 here, the true savior of game industry, and today I'm going to be giving you a guide on the max confidant items in Persona 5. If you don't know what these are yet, pretty much when you max out a social link, at the end of a game, you'll be given an item from any confidants that you maxed out. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep swapping between social link and confidant because I'm a P3 boy. That's where I started. So I'm going to keep swapping between them. If that bothers you, I apologize. But anyways, let's keep, let's keep going. The max confidant items, they let you carry over certain abilities from each confidant when you go into new game plus. I was looking on the forums one day and I couldn't find any complete list of information on what each max confidant item was or what abilities carried over from each item and that kind of annoyed me so today I'm gonna help you guys out and myself by giving you that list. I put all the information together and I've got it for you right now from my own save. This was originally being done to help a friend. Shout out to Pinstripe Paragon. He was playing P5 and he wanted this information. I will also give you my personal recommendations on what uh, confidants you should max out in your first playthrough. Anyways, let's get to the video. So oh, just a warning for all those spoiler sensitive people out there, if this is something you considered spoilers, please get off my video right now because I am not trying to hear that garbage, I am just trying to help you figure out what abilities carry over from each max confidant item so you can make smarter choices about which social links to max in your first playthrough okay okay all right we're moving on now okay one more thing to keep in mind before i start you do not get these abilities the moment new game plus starts you only get the abilities once you start up the social link again in new game plus that does not mean you have to max it out again it just means the moment you start it up your items carryover abilities will automatically be given to you okay okay all right now that absolutely everything is out of the way let's actually start this thing now Now, let's finally start off with one of my favorite girls, Makoto Nijima. When you max out her social link, you get an item called the Buchi Calculator. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But what the Buchi Calculator does is once you start a social link with her again, you get the ability Shadow Factorization, which allows you to see what skills an enemy can nullify, repel, or drain in battle. Next is another one of my favorite girls, Haru Okumura. When you max out her social link, you get an item called the Dyed Handkerchief. When you get this, it gives you the ability Soil Improvement, which makes it so that the vegetables you grow, grow faster. I never really used this ability, like I never even bothered to grow vegetables when I was using her social link, so don't really worry about this one. Next up, another top tier girl, Anne Takamaki. When you max out her social link, you get the fashion magazine which gives you crocodile tears which makes enemies ask for less during a negotiation and sexy technique which steers conversation during negotiation i've never actually seen this or crocodile tears in action so i'm not sure how exactly that works all right and up next another top tier status waifu futaba sakura when you max out her social link you get her promise list which has memento scan which gives you a chance to scan a whole floor during your trip down mementos i think it automatically lets you go to the next uh part of that specific floor and you get treasure rescan which makes it so that after a battle, there's a chance that all the items you broke in that specific room reset. So if you're treasure demon hunting, this can be pretty helpful, but I don't feel like getting her promise list during your first playthrough is mandatory. Next up, we have one of the most popular waifus, if not the most popular waifu on Twitter, Kawakami the Teacher. Now her max confidant item is unlimited service, which gives you her max confidant ability, special massage, which allows you to go out after you've been to mementos. This is a very helpful ability because you can use it to raise your social stats or raise your social link with a person, or you can go do something some sort of other activity at night like fishing or reading a book or playing a video game this is one of the abilities that i think you should make a priority speaking of twitter go ahead and follow me on twitter it's the same as my channel name kd360 it is very easy to find 
is this girl Ty Takemi, the doctor that you meet in the clinic. Now when you max out her social link, you get the dog tag which gives you access to every single item in her clinic. I don't really need to give you the name of the abilities because all they do is give you access to specific items in her clinic, but I have pictures here that will give you a description of what type of items each ability allows you to buy. So that's all you really need to know. Uh, I think this social link is kind of important, I guess when it comes to healing, but then again in New Game Plus, you'll probably be so strong that you won't really need to think about healing for a while so I don't think it's that important. Next up, we have another girl that doesn't get much praise, Chihaya the fortune teller. When you max out her social link, I believe you get a fortune tarot card, and what that does, it gives you access to every fortune that she can give you. Personally, I think that this isn't very helpful because you can just use Google to find a list of the ability of every confidant in the game, so you don't really need those. And when it comes to raising uh, your social stats with a person, like that's cool, but it's not super important that you go see her to do it, at least in my opinion. There's other ways you can go about doing that stuff, and I don't think these abilities are worth maxing out her confidant for in the first playthrough. Next up, we have probably everybody's worst girl, Oya. Now, when you max out her social link, you get the interview notes, and these give you the ability Legendary Scoop, which is just a, the best version of all of her previous abilities. Now, what this does is when you get spotted in a dungeon, the security level doesn't go up, and your security level drops to zero overnight when you leave, which I thought it already did. Pretty much, this makes the whole security system in Persona of five like completely pointless i don't think it's that important but it is a little helpful so if you want it go ahead and get it Next up is another one of my all-time favorite girls in Persona 5, Hifumi Togo, I believe is her last name. When you max out her social link, you get the Kosha piece, which gives you access to the ability Toriyu, which allows you guaranteed escape from any battle. This is a very helpful ability if you're trying to get to level 99 as fast as possible, because this allows you to go fight the Reaper, or not, it doesn't allow you to go fight the Reaper, but you can go fight the reaper without worrying whether you can escape or not. And if you go see the reaper during flu season, there's a chance that he'll get despair. And if you have any persona or if on has ambient aid, you can greatly increase your, your chances of inflicting the reaper with despair. And if he doesn't have it, you can just use Toriyu to get guaranteed escape from the battle. How cool is that, huh? If you want to get to level 99 as fast as possible, you want to max out this social link. Oh, so since uh, we're talking about waifus, uh, tell me who your favorite girl in this game is in the comment section. I want to see that. Let me see it. Next up, we have Ryuji. Ryuji is my favorite party member, and I think he's the best party member in the game. Just because of his damage output, it is ridiculous. And anyways, that's not what we're talking about. That's not what's important. When you max out his social link, you get the sports watch. And what that does is give you Harrison recovery, an ability that every party member has. And when someone is inflicted with a with an ailment like despair or something, there's a chance that he'll cure it. So that's really helpful to have at the beginning of the game. If you want that, go ahead and get it, but I don't feel like it's mandatory to have. Next up is Morgana. I hate Morgana. Anyways, once you max out Morgana's social link, which you have to do, you get Morgana's scarf. When you get Morgana's scarf, you get the ability Pickpocket, which gives you a chance of taking an item from an enemy when you hit them with a melee attack. This one isn't that important, but you're gonna get it whether you like it or not. Unless for some reason you just decide not to get the item from Morgana at the end of the game. Which I don't think is a thing, but I don't remember. 
Next up is probably the most annoying social link in this game, Sojiro Sakura. What makes it annoying is that on top of certain levels requiring a good chunk of points to level up, you also cannot level it past 3 or 4, pretty sure it's 4, until the summer when you rescue Futaba. But at the same time, this is probably like the most mandatory social link that you want to max out next to another one, but we'll get into that later. Sojiro lets you make coffee and curry, and these are some pretty good SP restoring items. Unless you want to go get that wax soda from the vending machine that restores like 5 SP. You don't want that, trust me. He lets you make coffee and curry. Co curry restores SP for the whole party, and coffee restores SP for one of you. And when you max out his social link, you get his recipe notes, which allows you to get coffee and curry mastery right off the bat. And since your social link with him starts pretty much at the beginning of the game you're gonna be able to make that coffee and that curry and that's gonna be really helpful for helping you run through dungeons unless in your first playthrough you manage to make actually no you can't do that it's impossible to do on the first playthrough because that requires new game plus so max out sojiro social link if you don't want sp's problems in the next playthrough and i know some of you are wondering what about tai takemi she gets sp adhesive 3 which lets you restore sp over time yeah but you only re uh, restore a little bit of sp per turn compared to sojiro's curry and coffee which i'm pretty sure can do a lot better for you and your whole party so please max out that social link if you really care about your sp restoring items because every other way to get sp restoring items is whack all right next up we have mishima another one that i feel is mandatory to max out once you max out his social link you get his documentary plans which makes it so that every exp based ability he has which is pretty much every ability he has carries over when you start the social link with him again in new game plus if you're not familiar with this ability it pretty much will make it so that any party member you're not using during a fight will get the same amount of exp as anybody you are using including the main character so that is very helpful you don't have to grind individual party members like you did in four and three very helpful i feel like this is a very important social link and on top of that it's easy to max out it's guaranteed to level up every time you go see him so go ahead and max that social link out Next up, we have EY. When you max out EY social link, you get the gecko pin, which gives you every gun customization option right off the bat. For me, personally, this isn't very helpful because the best guns in the game cannot be customized, even if you have the max social link ability, which is the special customization or whatever, which allows you to customize special grade guns. The best guns in the game don't count as that, and they're better than anything you can customize in the shop. So this isn't a social link that I wouldn't make a priority. Next up, we have the twins. Now, to max out the twin social link, you know, you have to make specific personas, which I recommend you you save that exact persona in the compendium so that when you're in New Game Plus, you don't actually have to go through the trouble of trying to make that specific persona again just to save you some trouble. Anyways, once you max out their social link, you will get a cell key, which gives you every ability that they gave you during the social link. Uh, the one I think this is extremely useful for and what makes this item mandatory is that you get special treatment and that allows you to make personas that are higher level than you for a certain fee. This is probably one of my favorite abilities in the game even though it is very expensive. Like if it's quite a bit level higher than you expect to be paying like 100, 200k yen. But if you've got the money to spend for some reason, like if you played on safety mode or something, then go ahead. This is of no concern to you. Uh, their, the rest of their abilities, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but don't worry, I've got pictures so you'll be able to see all of them. Next up, Yusuke. When you max out his social link, you get a painting called Desire and Hope, and what that lets you do is you can make any skill card right off the bat when you start his social link again. This is very good. You still need a blank card though, don't think you're making these skill cards for free, 
but you can make any level skill card you want right off the bat. I feel like this system was much better than the one they had in Persona 4 where you had to pay a certain price for specific skill cards because those prices on some skill cards were ridiculous. I think there was a skill card that they wanted you to pay 500k for and I'm like are you, are you serious right now uh, Igor? Trying to finesse me out some yen man? Get out of here. Yeah, this one is much better in my opinion. This is a high priority social link, but I don't think it's mandatory. But it is extremely helpful and I think you should max it out. Next up, we have Yoshida, the politician. Now, if you're about your paper, if you're about your yen, if you're about your racks, the change, the feddy, the whatever you want to call it, this is a social link that you want to max. It, it's pretty easy because his is just like Mishima's where every time you visit him, it goes up regardless of what your dialogue options are. But when you max this out, it unlocks every speech-based ability you get from him, which is pretty much all his abilities. And there's one ability in, in particular, I don't remember what it's called, but when you when you ask a persona for something like an item or money this doesn't this doesn't work when you uh ask to recruit them but he does have an ability which has a chance to stop or skip negotiation altogether when you're trying to recruit that persona and he has an ability which allows you to per recruit personas that are higher level than you but the ability that i'm talking about specifically when you ask for money or an item you are allowed to ask for more and what i like to do what this caused me to do is I'll kill a, the enemies around this enemy to get as much EXP as I can. Then I'll knock an enemy down and then I will keep asking it for money. This is so good because you can get a ton of money and even if eventually the persona rejects you, it you, you can just kill it. Or I think, I think sometimes they call for backup. I'm not 100% sure, but if you're really about your money, this is a very good alternative, but you know people who are really really about their money and that's all they care about you play on safety mode because the money you get is multiplied by five so you can just do that but if you're trying to have a normal challenging experience then max out yoshida social link you get way more money next up we have my favorite social link in the game shinya the little kid that helps you beat the hacker mister to be cool you gotta live your life your own way but i'm not here to be preachy i'm here to do my job and tell you how these items work when you max out his social link you get an item called the gun controller which allows you to unlock every ability of his that's related to your gun this is a very good one it's not mandatory but I think this is a very good one because his first ability that you get from him, it's called Downshot. And what it does is it allows you to empty your clip in order to get a guaranteed knockdown on an enemy. This doesn't work on every enemy because you know some are resistant to gun, but his max social link ability makes it so that uh, you can ignore an enemy with gun resistance. So when you use Downshot on him, it will knock him down anyway, but that's not an ability I think that you get because that ability does not like I guess the way I'd have to put it is that that uh, that specific ability is not like some special ability in all of its own that requires you to use your gun it just makes it so that it ignores gun resistance on an enemy the abilities you would get are down shot uh, you would get an ability called bullet hail when you ambush an enemy you can do extra damage to them by shooting your gun at them with your whole party and you also would get warning shot when you're trying to recruit a persona you can attempt to skip negotiation and scare them by firing your gun up in the air so that's very helpful but down shot is why i think it's worth it personally down shot is very good since you get guaranteed knockdown on any enemy that does not resist gun very good Next up, we have Igor, another story-related confidant. When you max out his social link, you get... Next up, we have Pancake Man Akechi. When you max out his social link, you get... Finally, we have the most important confidant in the entire game, Sai Nijima. Her ability is very important, very mind-blowing. When you max out her confidant, you will get her business card. What does her business card do? Well... It says lawyer instead of prosecutor. And that was the whole list of 
max confidant items and abilities that carry over to new game plus if this helped you out if you want me to do more stuff like this and you can't find it on the forums or something make sure you subscribe because information like this should have already been readily available on google and for some reason it was not that was very frustrating and that's what made me want to make this video so if you like this stuff go ahead and subscribe i'll do more of it I'm contemplating doing a 60 frames per second playthrough of Persona 5, so let me know if you want to see that too. Go ahead and like the video, sub, enable, no enable notifications, god dang it, I am sorry. But that was everything, I am out of here.